my mother passed away when I was two years old. And my daddy remarried when I was five, five or six. So we, uh, I had a, a new mom then. How I came about getting this, I guess when my stepmother passed away, I confiscated some of these things. And I think this one was sewed together by hand. Yes. Want to see the stitches in it? See, right along here, it's hand-stitched, holding the two pieces together. Okay. What size? Oh. Excuse me, people. My age is catching up with me. I keep forgetting. It's a full size. But can you picture? Putting all these pieces together by hand? Right. I sure can. The sewing machine had came into the picture when this one was made. It uh, was sewed on a sewing machine, all the different parts. What does it remind you of? When I first saw it, I thought of the going to have to start writing things now. Dutch. Holland, the windmills. See, either way you go. But everybody to his own opinion, because I don't know what they call, really called it. So I thought that was pretty and interesting. So long since I played with these, I forget how to put them together. Any idea what this is? Right. Here. Did you see the waffle part of it? Well, I learned to iron with this. And these have to be heated on the, remember the stove over the, the museum? Mm -hmm. <laughs> these, just this part, was set on the stove and got hot enough to iron and then this fit over the top and this here then would hold it. I think I used it enough that the handle got too hot different times because it has broken. So they, my parents taped it. It's a kettle that you can cook make soup in, or just cook a few potatoes, or 
carrots. And what is this? All together? Frying pan. Oh, a frying pan. Right. And that was the frying pan. And this you could make soup out of. I'm not sure whether I had a set of these or just got one of them through something. And here is two things. One's bigger than the other. Know what they? Um, for pies. For pies. Mm -hmm. A real small pie and then a little bit bigger one. I was trying to remember the other day. I imagine that my mother used some of her scraps to make a pie crust that would fit in here. And in this one. I didn't make this, the pie crust. This is called, now my mind went a, a scrub board. That'll do. It was put in a tub of warm to hot water. And we go like this with our clothes. And if you're not used to it, the first time you do it, you kind of get sores on your knuckles. But I did a lot of washing on a washboard. There's tubs that would just fit on a, on a stove and heat the water, and then you could use that to scrub. We uh, wa thought the washing machine was marvelous when it came in. We didn't have to scrub it anymore. Well, that must be me and my mother. My mother passed away when I was two years old. Well, I don't like the sun, unlike all the little kids. I got my eyes when it shut. This is my mother's sister. Her name was Aunt Ruby. And uh, this was me. at a young age. I don't know, it's probably a year old. I was in 4-H work. And I made this dress. And I went to Pueblo because the first two contestants weren't able to go. So I went as a third contestant. This is my husband and me and our three children. They were stair steps. Do any of you know Meredith Murray outside of Lane? She works at the dental clinic now.
this is Meredith's mother. when she was a baby. Uh, this is my oldest daughter, and she is still living. All right. On my, underneath my right finger is my oldest daughter, Barbara. And this is my youngest daughter, Linda, Meredith's mother. And this is my son. He, he and Linda are both gone. And this is me. This is my father on the on my left on your right and my three brothers my oldest my daddy had him named Buck before he ever got home from the hospital And uh, my brother Gordon, Wesley Gordon, he lives down in uh, Parachute. Go up on the hill from the Parachute. That'll work nice And my youngest brother being held by his oldest brother. And my youngest brother is also gone now. He was only about two years older than my son was. My husband worked in at Lockheed and Vega when we were in California. And he got scraps off the floor. Uh, the uh, from the windows that came in to be repaired or whatever. Anyway, he made these hearts and then had them put on a chain. He was working. He says, when I came home, the yard was full of P-38s. Uh, it was one of the fastest planes that the states had to shoot down the war planes when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor. He was also uh, went around at night and checked all the windows to make sure there was no light coming out of them or nobody outside smoking a cigarette because a cigarette lit. You could see it for miles in the sky. I lost a cousin due to the war, for one thing. Uh, my aunt was determined that there had to be some trace of him. He still had to be alive in Honolulu. But uh, she never found any trace. 